Planned Parenthood provides not only women's health care services like exams, gynecology exams, birth control, sexually transmitted infection testing, um, screenings for breast and cervical cancer, we do education programs, and we provide abortion options and abortion services. Actually, Monroe County has some of the highest, oops, excuse me, <laughs> rates of sexually transmitted infection and, and um, unintended pregnancy. We're out there making sure that the people in this community have the information and access that they need. This is not only about abortion. In fact, it's not about abortion at all. It's basically a class war. This is a war against poor women, lower, or low income women, who take advantage of the Planned Parenthood uh, services. You're, they're not only getting, you know, pap smears and HIV testing, but they're getting breast exams, cancer uh, screenings. And that's extremely important for people who cannot afford it because those procedures are extremely expensive. And if when we lose Planned Parenthood or if Planned Parenthood loses their funding, that's the end of those uh, procedures for low-income women. So Planned Parenthood, or at least around here, is walking distance. People can take the bus. Um, it's a lot more personal because it does cater to a, a certain demographic, which is women. I really hope that this experience um, encourages people to not only question those websites, but question why the government is basically launching a full-fledged attack on uh, low-income women, especially women of color who take advantage of the Planned Parenthood services. And I'm here to support women's health care in all its forms because I think everyone deserves health care. And I think the people who are in charge of making these decisions to cut budgets don't have in mind the interests of working class women who deserve to get health care, not just abortions and the right to defend their own bodies, but all, all forms of health care. And I think that unless we stand up and fight for our rights, they'll continue to be cut away. I go to Planned Parenthood for regular checkups, STD testing, Lock in the sidewalk. whatever I need. And I would be really mad if I didn't have this ability to get those services because I don't make a lot of money. Can't afford to pay high co-pays for health care. They, they are very helpful, uh, very important in terms of women's health. And the fact that they would not be supported uh, is uh, a, a tragedy as far as I'm concerned. I've been involved in the Planned Parenthood pro-choice movement before there was a pro-choice movement, really. I'm a member of the Unitarian Church here in Rochester, and it may not be well known, but they, in the 30s, had the first clinic. Uh, Margaret Sanger came to speak in Rochester. Eight Rochester women uh, decided to start a clinic. They could not find any place that would rent them a space. Uh, and because one of the members of this eight uh, was a member of the Unitarian Church, uh, she prevailed upon the church and the clinic, the first clinic, this was the starter or uh, the original Planned Parenthood really was at the Unitarian Church for five years. It was strictly women's health and family planning. Uh, this was in the 30s. That was before my time, but that's my background. I think the issue is partly separation of church and state. Uh, mostly it's a religious issue for people who uh, do not uh, want women to have family planning or the choice for an abortion. And so I say this is a secular issue. Uh, religious people can do as they please. In the same way as the uh, Defense of Marriage Act. Marriage should be a civil act. It should have nothing to do with whether your church approves of it or not. And that's the way I feel. This is a secular issue. Should be. Okay.
problem, fulfilling their promise to cut the budget. It turns out people like a lot of the programs that the Republicans want to cut. So the Republicans have changed their strategy. Instead of cutting programs for people, John Stewart said, they are now cutting programs for women. The Republican Party does not get this. They do not understand that women are people, that women are human. So they're trying to pass bills like the Let Women Die Act. Its official name is H.R. 358, and it would allow medical providers to refuse to treat a woman whose life is at risk if the treatment would harm her fetus. Think, think about that. They would rather a woman die than harm a fetus. Another bill the Republicans want passed would prohibit in every insurance company in this country from covering abortion. What that would mean is once again putting women at the mercy of back alley abortionists. Another of the Republican bills would strip the funding from Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers. That one has become known as the Public Health Nightmare Act. Still in all, the thing we need to remember in all of this is who the people is who the people are who, lo who are lobbying these Republican legislators, getting them to push these ridiculous bills. The number one organization is the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. These Catholic bishops are colluding with John Boehner in an all-out war on the women in this country. The National Organization for Women is working to get the federal government to make these Catholic bishops follow the same lobbying rules that apply to everyone else. Otherwise, this all-male organization, which is violently anti-woman, will press ahead trying to shut down Planned Parenthood and continue its war on women. Thank you. Women's rights are human rights! Women's rights are human rights! Women's rights are human rights! church, not the state. Women must decide the fate. I'm here today because I think the issue of women's choice, reproductive choice, is a very important one nowadays. It's under attack and I think it's uh, incumbent on all Americans to uh, defend women's rights. Uh, well, I think it's because the right wing is uh, first and foremost misogynist. And I think anything they can do to uh, return women to uh, a subservient role in all aspects of life is what they'll do. And making them economically dependent is part of their agenda.